Hi, I'm uh, Pablo from Bright Green Futures. And I'm Steffi, I think most of you know me. Um, in this video, we wanted to tell you about our campaign success and invite you to join in. Uh, so, Steffi and I put forward a response to Bristol City Council's local plan review. Uh, where we were seeking to influence um, policy uh, on self and custom build housing and community led housing to support and enable it. So we want to thank the council firstly uh, for taking on board a lot of our suggestions and implementing them uh, in their draft policy. So I firstly just want to ask Steffi, um, what area of policy uh, she thinks that will really uh, support self-build housing? Well, yeah, it's been completely fantastic, actually. That's my first campaign initiative um, and that th it is so successful and that the council has really listened. I know there are other community-led housing groups as well that have written in and the council has really looked at all the suggestions and taking it on board in a big way, which I think is fantastic for Bristol, specifically because you know, self built housing and com communities, people coming together to build their own homes is such an empowering experience. And there was so much evidence now of our um, clients and what they've gone on to do. And even the people who've, who've bought in and in order to make this possible, what they've done with their lives. And to have lots of entrepreneurial people or people with this kind of attitude that gets cultivated in these groups all live together with the co-working hub which we put in place, co-working community innovation hub, um, makes such a big difference for the city, for the vibe, for people founding ethically driven enterprises that make a difference of all sorts of natures. Um, so we're really pleased and yeah, massive thanks to Kelly Thomas as well. He, she's the newly appointed community led housing officer. I know it's got a lot to do with her campaigning for it. So what's changed actually is there's now going to be a planning officer in the council specifically dedicated to work on community-led schemes, which will make it, I'm hoping, so much easier to go through the, to navigate the planning process and an opening from the council to really say, actually, these projects need to take priority because of what they give to the city and what they give to our people. So that's really fantastic. The other thing the council has done is specifically allocated some sites for either self built communities or other community led initiatives to happen and they've put in some other mechanisms that actually make it easier for us to do it and um, yeah, provide the foundations um, to make it possible. There's still a lot to do, obviously we would like all housing to be built in this way and why not when over half of the population would love to build their own home at one point and um, and when housing really needs to be more sustainable respond to challenges like climate change and loneliness and social deprivation so yeah it's a really big step in mm. the right direction and I think we're both keen to hope that other local authorities will follow suit right yeah yeah completely and I know you are starting um, to think about what we can do to influence that, is that right? Yeah, yeah, so um, as part of a PhD project, um, we're taking on a lot of uh, the ideas developed uh, through Bright Green Futures and just seeing how we can create a wider market for eco self built communities. And part of a way of doing that is by um, enabling it through policy. So, you know, seeing a campaign like this actually come through and, and, and make an impact is is really encouraging um, and you know it, it, it's it's helped not just by companies like us but also a lot of grassroots activity um, around community-led housing and self and custom build housing which is um, a big thing in Bristol um, yeah yeah we are just the enabler it's yeah. our clients that make everything mm. happen and you know the professionals the builders the architects the engineers and the academics now, because um, yeah. you are doing the PhD, so mm -hmm. we have got access to the big academic wisdom of the world. Yeah. 
Great, thanks for listening. We're going to leave a link below. You can click on it and that will take you to an email that if you want you could send to the council to say thank you for listening to the people and for supporting community let and safe but housing and I'm sure they're really going to appreciate it because they very rarely get letters of gratitude. Thanks for being with us and see you soon. Thank you. Goodbye.